Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lenny. I'm the one with the 2013 Civic Si. I'm uh, Jimmy Lamb's little brother. If you've seen his uh, 2016 WRX, the one with the RPF ones, I believe, gold. If I'm correct on the term there. But um, last video you saw the Mercedes get pop tuned on um, with the uh, Daniel, I believe, over in Florida. Today I'm gonna go over how to pop tune anything that runs Honda Flash Pro. So that's a uh, 8th gen, 9th gen Civics, 10th gen Type R's, some RSX's I believe. And then you got, um, I believe the S2000's as well. We got Andrew right here too, coming out from work. <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned, we'll learn, teach you how to pop tune. So we're here in Anthony's, er, well, <laughs> fuck. Uh, we'll just cut that. Um, no. So we're here in Andrew's house where he just, he just got off, he came home from Firestone. And we're going over um, the Honda software itself. We did the tune on his laptop. So the software itself is pretty self-explanatory. A lot of it's simple. It's more of just understanding how how to adjust, what to adjust. Um, just a disclaimer for you guys even try this at all. Messing with the engine, you can blow a motor. So don't blame us. If you try this and you blow your motor, we are not liable. But um, if you look over here, most of it's pretty, like I said, self-explanatory. Feel, ignition, VTEC, the most important part, the most horsepower puller right here. Um, for the pop tune itself, as you know, Andrew pops as well using the same concept that we apply here at, in the Honda. So all we adjust is specifically an ignition low. As you can see here, we set <clears throat> the ignition to be negative 10 from negative 26.4 to negative 23.9 from 2000 to 7500. What this basically means is anytime your pedal is pushed down a certain distance on the on the in the Civic. So let's say from about this much space, so from here to here on the pedal, it's going to it's going to cut off ignition. So then in the engine, when it runs through the cycle, it's just going to dump that fuel into the exhaust pipe. And once it's in the pipe, that's when it blows up and that's what you guys hear the pop, sometimes the fire, the flames. Mine I can't do it as so much, I think, because uh, on the stock injectors, they only shoot to three, 310 cc, so it's not very, not a lot of fuel to play with for flames. I think if those those of you with higher end uh, injectors, maybe a better tune for th with more fuel injection, you could probably push out more of that fuel. But um, another thing is that when you change this on the software itself, your it for some reason cancels cancels out the air fuel ratio reading. The um, for me, it keep it after I changed it. It would only read that my air fuel ratio was running at negative ten point fourteen, even at idle when it's supposed to be at four, uh, fourteen. So it it it's gonna say it's running like super rich, but it really isn't. But just so you know, you're not you're not running that rich. Um, now in the VTEC range, you sh you have to start adjusting higher ignition levels. That one I just showed you, we did ignition low. Um, ignition low is only going to be messing with anything without VTEC. It goes all the way down to 7500, but really it doesn't make a difference. Um, so into the ignition high, I'll show you here. My ignition is set, my VTEC is set to pop at, or go off from between four to 5,000. So really I need to push this down to 4,000. But with it, you can, you activate it to pop and cut off that ignition time in the higher end with VTEC. With what I found though in the VTEC, if you try to pop in the VTEC, it actually ends up crackling and gurgling more than actually popping. Um, if you run the same setup as me in the same the same year and, and generation, uh, your loudest pops that you can get out of this is around 3,500 to 4,000 range. Try to hop around there. I have been getting pretty nice loud ones out of the 5,000 range. It really depends, but. Um, yeah, that's the essential way to do it. We're going to run a few rollers and let you guys see exactly the volume. We'll run through some tunnels, some flybys. Maybe you guys will like what you see in here. So we'll show you that. And yeah. Once you um, put the tune onto the, once you tune it onto the computer, you're going to transfer it over to your Honda. And then once you upload it to your Honda, you can put it straight to your car. Or if you have the laptop in the car with you, you can just upload it directly to your car. Don't have to transfer it. But um, I've already had it loaded onto my car. 
So we're just gonna do some flybys. I already did the upload, so if you guys already have one data, you should know. So just uh, let's start up the lawnmower, man. Let's go. <laughs> In my Civic Si, we're I'm running a Rev 9 Catless downpipe, three inch, um, and then from cat back, I'm running 2.75 inch uh, Nvidia N1. Um, I don't know if the short rim intake really makes much of a difference, but I am running DC Racing short rim intake. If it does make a difference, but um, as for exhaust, that's what I'm running to get these pops out. Um, if you really want to get a pop out, maybe a flame here and there on stock injectors, you're really going to want a catless downpipe. I would recommend just Rev 9, honestly. I like the tone of it. It's doing just fine for me. No problem so far. But um, yeah, that's all I would recommend. We're going to do some revs, some flybys, so you guys can see what the tune does. y'all can like tell but like those things those pops are fucking ridiculous like you can feel them in your chest like that's how loud they are so I'm gonna walk over here and we're gonna get some flyby clips of uh, Lenny popping or his gunshots basically cuz them shits is fucking loud pop tune on the Civic Si. Like I said, do it on any car you can with Honda out of Reflash. Just um, stay tuned, man. We got a lot of coming in. Subscribe, like, comment down below. You know all the goodies. Yeah, shout out to Andrew. He's holding the camera right now, but he came out here to help me out with all of this. He's the one who initially tuned in the first place, so yeah. Well, see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs>